In this video, we're going to design a logo using Procreate and then turn that into a vector based SVG that you can scale to any size. Hello, my name is Thorke and welcome to Art and Design. We make a lot of videos on this channel about art and design. So if you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Anyways, let's dive right into the video and start by creating the canvas. Now for this, we're going to use a template so that we can design the logo according to the template. To find this, just go logo template grid in Google, tap on it, and then drop it into Procreate like so. So now we have the template ready to go. Okay, now it's time to design the actual logo. And for that, I'm going to add a drawing guide and edit drawing guide now, symmetry, then keep it at vertical symmetry. Just make sure assisted drawing is turned on. So now whatever we draw on one side will be reflected on the other side. So let's start by creating the design. But if we just start designing right now, we're going to draw on the same layer as this template. So let's just make sure that we don't do that, create a new layer, and then we're going to draw on top of the template. You can also place the layer below and then turn on something like multiply. Then this layer will basically be transparent, except where the darker lines are. So now we can draw and you can see the darker lines on top of it. So it can be really useful if you want to do that. Now, make sure drawing assist is on and let's just go ahead and design this logo. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time on the logo because that's not why you clicked on this video. You clicked on this video to learn how to turn it into an SVG. So I'm just going to create like a primitive shape, add a gradient to it, maybe add a few bells and whistles, and then let's leave it at that. And then here we have the final design. Now let's go ahead and just remove the grid lines. Make sure that you do that first before you export. And this thing right here, the drawing guide, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't show up in the export, but now it's time to export this design. So let's just go into the share icon right here. And as you might notice, there is no SVG. That's because Procreate isn't a vector based drawing program. So what we're going to do is we're going to export this as a JPEG or PNG. I'm just going to do JPEG for now. We're going to save it as an image. And now I'm going to go into photos and I'm just going to open up the logo that we just created. Okay. So now we have photos opened up with the logo. Now let's open up Safari and go to this website right here, recraft.ai. Now, as of the timing of this recording, recraft AI is free. So you can sign up and use it for free. So take advantage of this while you can, because this is super, super cool. Let me show you what we can do right now while we have the logo right here. We're just going to tap on it. We're going to hold it and this allows us to copy. So now we're just going to drag it and drop it right in here. So now we have our logo in Recraft and it doesn't support like drag and drop uh, while it is on the canvas. So if you want to move it, you tap and then I think you need to like nudge it into place. It's better to use Recraft on a PC. So if you have a PC, it's better to use it there. But as you can see right here, this is where the money happens. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to tap on vectorize, and that is going to turn this icon into a vector. So the thing that we drew in Procreate in a rasterized drawing program is going to automatically turn it into a vector based icon. And did anything change? Hmm. Well, what happens if we tap on export now? SVG. There we go. Look at that. It's a little bit finicky to work with in this browser. So let's just export this as an SVG and save it. So it has saved right here image. So the only thing we need to do now is to import this into a vector based drawing program, something like Illustrator, if you have Adobe account, but if you don't have an Adobe account, there are plenty of apps on the App Store that support vectors. So we just search for vector art or vector design. There you can see Vectornator is one of them. There's one other Illustrator, obviously, there are a whole bunch of them. But the one that I have installed on my iPad is Affinity Designer. That is a rasterized and a vector based drawing app. So I'm just going to go ahead and tap on the plus button here, then import from cloud, just going to make sure to go into the downloads folder, you find that on the iCloud drive, and then downloads somewhere below, you should see the icon that we just imported. So now, if we zoom into this, you see, we can zoom pretty much infinitely. And it is just smooth lines all around. Look at that. Perfect vector based logo designed in Procreate. How cool is that? 
to tap on the node tool here, we can tap on any of these shapes and you can see the actual anchor points that create this shape. That is so cool. I love this. And you can edit any one of these. So if you want to make it weird like this, or you know, if any one of these shapes isn't perfectly straight, like maybe this one right here, you can just tweak it so that it so it looks right. So spend a few moments or a few hours fine tuning your logo so that it is perfect. And now you can scale it to any size. Now designing your own SVG logo is pretty cool, but what if you could get professional help to create a more advanced logo in pretty much the same amount of effort? Well, that's where this video right here comes in. So click on that if you want to see that. But if you did learn something from this video, click on the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos from art and design in the future. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching. See you in the next